Unraveling, by and by, understanding this classic phrase. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a phrase that's as charming as it is puzzling, by and by. It's a phrase you might have encountered in old literature, songs, or perhaps in a conversation with someone who enjoys colorful expressions. But what does it really mean? How do we use it? And where does it come from? Stick around as we unravel the mysteries of by and by together. The phrase by and by can be a little confusing because it has more than one meaning. Originally, it meant after a short period or soon. However, as language evolved, it also came to mean eventually or in the course of time. These meanings are subtly different. One suggests something will happen soon, while the other suggests an undetermined time in the future, but both carry the sense of patience and expectation. To get a better grasp, let's look at some examples. 1. I'm busy now, but I'll be with you by and by. Here, it means shortly or soon. 2. They say hard work pays off, and by and by, you'll see the results. In this case, it means eventually. By using by and by in various sentences, we can understand how it modifies the sense of time in what we're saying. The origins of by and by are rooted in the Middle English period, where by meant something close to our current understanding of beside or near. When doubled, it came to suggest a time close at hand, hence, by and by. Over the centuries, it kept this temporal meaning but stretched to imply a more indefinite future. In modern English, by and by is considered somewhat archaic or poetic. It's less common in everyday conversation but still holds its charm in writing and music. It gives a nostalgic or formal tone to the message, which can be very effective in storytelling or when creating a particular mood. English learners should be careful with by and by because it's not commonly used in contemporary casual speech. It's important to understand the context in which it appears and to avoid using it in an inappropriate setting, like in very formal or technical communication. So, by and by, you've not only learned a new phrase but also the rich tapestry of meaning behind it. Remember, language is not just about words, but the history and culture they carry with them. We hope this exploration has been enlightening, and you can appreciate the beauty and depth of English a little more. Until our next linguistic adventure, keep learning and stay curious.